One thing that's absolutely key and is actionable, we're right there already in discussing tools, is iodine. Iodine is most common in sea salt, in kelp, and in seaweed. And most people can get enough iodine from the food they eat and or the table salt they consume. Almost all table salt from all over the world, regardless of where you are, contains iodine. The thyroid needs iodine in order to produce thyroid hormone. Iodine combines with an amino acid that we've talked about before called L-tyrosine. L-tyrosine comes from meat, from nuts. There are some plant-based sources as well. It is the precursor to dopamine. But in the thyroid, iodine combines or works with L-tyrosine to produce T3 and T4, the thyroid hormone. So you absolutely need sufficient iodine. You need sufficient L-tyrosine. And then you also need something else, which is called selenium. Selenium is important in order for thyroid hormone to be made because of the way that it allows L-tyrosine and iodine to interact. And the thing is, most people aren't getting enough selenium because they don't eat foods that are high in selenium. Now, the, how much selenium you need will depend on where you live. It actually varies country by country. Some countries I found uh, say that you should get 100 micrograms. Some say 200. Some say 155. The average was about 155 micrograms, the countries I looked at. People who are trying to increase thyroid levels might want to uh, consume more selenium. And if you consume a vitamin, of course, you want to make sure... Um, if it has selenium, that you're not overdoing it by consuming a lot of selenium-rich foods either. Brazil nuts are the heavyweight champion of foods to get selenium from. It has very high concentrations of selenium. In just six or eight, uh, Brazil nuts contain something like 550 micrograms of selenium. It's also present in fish. Ham, of all things, um, contains a lot of selenium. Uh, for whatever reason, pork does. I'm not a big consumer of pork. Um, beef has some selenium. But what's interesting, if you look at the sources, you know, pork, beef, turkey, chicken, cottage cheese, eggs, brown rice, they, what you want to understand is that they they have something like 30 to 50 micrograms of selenium. So if you're not eating Brazil nuts, and I'm guessing most people aren't, then and you're not eating a lot of uh, animal-based foods, which I know many of you aren't, then you're probably not getting enough selenium 